Good morning, everyone. It's a great pleasure for me to be back here. I, um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jeff Stevens. And uh, before Pastor Hen came during the vacancy, I served as vacancy pastor here. So, so a lot of faces are familiar. Forgive me if I can't pull your name out, uh, but, but everybody looks familiar to me. So uh, this morning we're going to join uh, with the disciples in a boat and we're gonna get wet. So I hope you brought your uh, uh, slickers with you or your, your boat shoes, because uh, we're gonna deal with a, a great storm that came upon them and uh, deal with the issues that happen in our lives when the storms come. So I invite you to set aside all the, the cares and worries of the world and focus your attention on your Lord Jesus, who is here to comfort and encourage you. I invite you to stand for the confession. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then confess our sins to God, our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God in his mercy has given his Son to die for you, and for his sake he forgives you all your sins. As an ordained servant of Christ and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Joy. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help, save, Comfort and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God, Father, we worship you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, in your mercy, guide the course of this world so that your church may joyfully serve you in godly peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. <clears throat> the Old Testament reading comes from Job. Job. Uh, 38, 1 through 11. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Dress for action like a man. I will question you, and you make it known to me. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me, if you have understanding, who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? Or what were its bases, on, on what were its bases sunk? Or who laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy, or who shut in 
in the seas with doors when it burst out from the womb, when I made clouds its garment, and thick darkness its swaddling band, and prescribed limits for it, and set bars and doors, and said, thus far shall you come and no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stayed. This is the word of the Lord. The epistle comes from 2 Corinthians 6, verses 1 through 13. Working together with him, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in a favorable time, I listened to you, and in a day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We put no obstacle in anyone's way so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we commend ourselves in every way by great endurance in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, the Holy Spirit, genuine love, by truthful speech and the power of God, with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left, through honor and dishonor, through slander and praise. We are treated as impostors and yet are true, as unknown and yet well-known, as dying and behold we live, as punished and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing, yet possessing everything. We have spoken freely to you, Corinthians. Our heart is wide open. You are not restricted by us, but you are restricted in your own affections. In return, I speak as to children, widen your hearts also. This is the word of the Lord. Gospel according to Mark chapter 4. Glory to you, o Lord. On that day when evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let us go across the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took, with, uh, took him with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was great calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and sea obey him? This is the gospel of the Lord. You may be seated for the hymn of the day, number 726.
invite you to stand for the presentation of the offer. Almighty God, you calm the storms and bring peace to our lives. As we bring you our tithes and offerings, we are reminded of your power and your faithfulness. Grant us the courage to trust you in all circumstances and to share your peace with others. May these gifts help extend your calming presence to those who are troubled and in need. Amen. Let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. This is the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for your steadfast love and your wondrous works. You hold power over wind and wave, sin and death. Assure us that you are near when we face trouble. Give us the confidence of faith that your first disciples lacked. Lord, in your mercy. Father, encourage every disciple who shares your saving gospel. Remove all obstacles from hearing and believing the word they proclaim. Let your grace be proclaimed through every town, neighborhood, and cul-de-sac. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Almighty God, ruler of this world, give us honorable civil servants. When they use their authority, let it be in accord with your good design for our world and not for corruption and sin. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Mighty Lord, commander of wind and wave, spare us from disaster. Give success to crops. Send suitable rain to the earth. Give protection to those endangered by storms on land, sea, or air. And give us faith both to call to you in trouble and to trust that you will work everything for our eternal good. Lord, in your mercy. Loving Father, look with compassion on those who are sick, especially we pray for those that we name in our hearts before you now. Father, we would ask in Jesus' name that you would grant them healing. But if that is not your will at this time, then increase their faith, that they may trust in your never-ending fatherly care. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. These things and all the other things that burden our hearts and minds, we lay at your throne of mercy, asking you to act upon them as you will know no best and for our good. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us to
Oh. 